All right, so I'm cleaning up this pot holding area, which was a lot of stuff that was just annual that never got planted, along with some perennial fruits that are um, getting very carefully moved. A lot of them have rooted through the pots. And I was just about to start digging around this olive tree because I can't lift the, that pot up either. And I noticed that I've got one of those garden riding spiders right here. So I don't think I'm gonna disturb. I've got a lemon balm and two comfries down here that are attached into the same webbing so i don't want to disturb them so i'm going to leave those for now do you ever have one of those days where you really want to get some things crossed off your list but you look at the list and you're like i don't want to do that <laughs> i kind of felt like that this morning i came out here and i said just tackle something anything you know on the list off the list it doesn't matter just do something get started and what i got started on is cleaning up the front of the she shed, getting all the pots pulled out, sorting what was still alive and what was not, dumping out any dead plants, and trying to salvage the ones that are still alive. So let's see how I do. Russian red kale. It has gone to seed quite some time ago. I'm hoping, yes, I can save some seed. All right, so I'm trying to get this bag curiously placed right underneath because these seed pods are so dry that the seeds are just going to fall right out as soon as I start touching it. They've actually already seeded themselves into some of these pots, so... <laughs> I uh, already have some germinating. See? Little baby kale. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I totally didn't intend to do that. As I was just breaking off the kale seed heads to save them, I accidentally broke off one of her main leads on her web. You'll have to rebuild, sweetheart. I guess that means I can get in there and get that comfrey and lemon balm. All right, got it weed eated down. I'm gonna put some cardboard down and some mulch. And uh, then we can start building from this point out around to this side of the building is gonna be garden beds. But I don't know that I'm gonna get anything planted right now. I just wanna get everything organized right now. So most of these are not going in these beds. These are all gonna go in the food forest. So I gotta keep them alive until I can get them over there. So I've got them in trays of water because the roots did get pulled up out of the ground underneath the pots. So I had to give them water for the damaged roots. Hopefully it'll be enough. I still gotta sort all that. Oh my, it's hot out here too. So sometimes you got to work a little bit on a long-term project here and there. This is kind of one of those. This eventually will become the area where our pond and bog garden is, but we haven't gotten to that stage yet, obviously. So while I'm in here, I'm going to remove this wall of rocks from this side of the garden because these, this bed will wrap around this corner in time. All right, got everything moved over here. It's a little shadier. Everything's in a tray with water in it so that the roots will not go back into the ground before I have a chance to plant them. And hopefully it'll help prevent the shock that they're gonna go through, or at least reduce some of the shock from being pulled out by their roots. But I think, I think most of these are gonna do okay. We might lose a few though. I guess that's the price to pay when you get too busy and don't get everything done that you hope to get done. Because I thought these would be planted 
last a lot of these I wanted to plant last fall and then in the spring and now here we are almost fall again and I'm finally getting to the point where I'm positive they will get in the ground this fall <laughs> so I just got to keep them alive a little bit longer and work harder and do more every day now that it's not 100 degrees out I uh, hopefully will be able to get more and more done I think that's gonna do me for tonight I am so wore out so tomorrow I'll have to tackle those and get all this cleaned up but not bad for a day's work not bad at all well I got super lucky and it rained last night and everything looks perked up nothing looks wilted so I think I did a good job with my transplants and we'll be planting lots of fruit stuff soon our sweet garden spider was able to remake a new web and I'm so happy for her this is a perfect spot for her where she won't get disturbed, but she'll find lots of yummy food. All right, I got this area cleared. Got these plants. There were some perennial garden plants and a lot of thornless blackberry, some thornless raspberry, some grapes, figs, various other things. While this very time-consuming project may seem kind of frivolous when I have more important things to be doing, it's actually the first step to getting our fruit forest in the ground because I really needed an inventory of what plants need to go in the food forest and be able to determine how I'm going to set it up. So getting all of these plants out of here and figuring out who's alive and who's going to get planted is the first step. And I think what I'm going to do right here is go ahead and plant these perennials. I'm going to dump this compost right up against the wall, plant the perennials there that I think will do well, and get that off of my to-do list. That way they'll have a chance to recuperate and thrive. Hi, Phantom. Phantom's not really our cat, but he thinks he is. He's, he's a neighborhood cat. He's not really Miss Celsius either, but she lets him in the house and feeds him. He just came with... He just came with the property. All right, so I went ahead and planted the perennials along with the annual begonia. Sunflower, cana, black and blue salvia, corcosmia, uh, one type of daylily and another type of daylily, and the begonia just set right in the middle of it all because it's an annual. And it just adds a little splash of color. So now I'm going to just mulch this area. I think I'm going to mulch this too because I think what I'm going to do is make a mulch path from the garden and this is going to be utilized more. So in order to make it accessible, having a nice mulch path to it would be good. Plus I don't want it to grow over with crabgrass like is already happening. And will probably happen even with the mulch. Ta-da! I'm now an organized eclectic gardener. This is so much better. I've got to move a few more of my food forest plants over to here so they'll all be in the same place. And then I think I'm good. I'm going to put some more mulch on this corner. I thought this needed to come out more. But I got to either clean up all these pots and stack them into individual sizes and organized or have the kids do it. What do you think? You think they'll do it? I'm sure gonna try. <laughs> 